questionnaires are all the rage in the 19th century. Jenny, the daughter of Karl Marx, gets family and friends to fill out her forms. Even Friedrich Engels answers her questions. Your favorite virtue? Jollity. Quality in man? To mind his own business. In woman? Not to mislay things. Chief characteristic? Knowing everything by halves. Hero? None. No heroes but a healthy motto. Take it easy. Here you can see my hammock, containing myself, smoking a cigar. Engels likes to sketch, with a satirical twist, everything, including himself. Here we are at fencing class. I fence four times a week, again this afternoon. On the next page, you can see how I attack. Like all self-assured intellectuals, Friedrich Engels had a tremendously likable disposition. His honest laughter is admired by all, relatives and foes alike. Humorous and ironic, as he also shows himself to be in his letters and sketches. You can see that I have been painted while I was fuming. The cigar didn't light up. Friedrich Engels had... Uh... Not only did Friedrich Engels have a natural sense of humor that came from the soul, he could also express himself, likewise in his writings, satirically. Gentlemen, here you see modern characteristics and situations. Zeitgeist. Female emancipation. The nobility of modern materialism. Modern man's inner conflict. Emancipation of the flesh. Friedrich Engels was a very ambivalent figure. On the one hand, a man of almost military discipline. In the Marx family, he was called the general. He would like to have been a general of a revolutionary army, so he could wage war against monarchs and autocrats. On the other hand, he was a man with an almost anarchistic zest for life. My dearest sister, I am your humble servant, Friedrich. He could display proper manners eating oysters in a first-class hotel, and just as happily, drinking beer with the lads in a pub. A man who perceptively pokes fun at his surroundings. These two were on display yesterday, for both a male and female audience to see. His relationship with women is, for the times, unusual. Love, yes, but he vehemently rejects civil marriage. An honest partnership must be based on love and trust. Without the endorsement of the state, it must be based on the independence of both partners. And he tries to live according to this ideal with Mary and then later with Lizzie Burns. Those among his closest confidants can depend on him for life. Engels is exceptionally loyal. He valued family and friendship pretty much above everything else. And he entertains his friends and family in his letters with self-depreciating descriptions and unerring sketches. When I returned, I lit up a cigar and laid myself in the hammock. But it collapsed beneath me. Heroin. Too many to name one. Prose writer. Goethe, Lessing, Dr. Samuelson. Maxim. Not to have any. Motto. Take it easy.
Thank you.